Do you agree with our Jim Cramer that we could be facing a sell-off after that very hawkish pause with the, the specter of two more hikes coming up? Yeah, I do think so. I, uh, I mean, we are currently underweight across uh, regions in equities. We have a small underweight um, because, first of all, we are concerned about the economic situation. The fact that the Fed may have two more rate hikes just raises the probability of a recession later on. Um, so we are cautious on that. And also, we are going to face more tightening in liquidity, right? Um, so there's still QT going on. And uh, I mean, there has been a spike in the Fed balance sheet when SVB fell, but you know, that is normalizing. So we're going to face some more liquidity headwinds going forward. And, and the narrow leadership in the uh, S&P 500 rally is also a bit of a concern. Uh, it's very hard to keep that sustaining. So I think, uh, yeah, there is likely to be okay. a pullback in the market at some point. You know, you're one of many kind of looking at the Fed's balance sheet. I want to ask you, everything we're seeing from the Fed and hearing from the Fed, how does that shape your thoughts about bonds? Are you still looking at bonds for opportunities? Yields are still elevated. We were touching on it earlier today. And are you in favor of short-term bonds or long-term bonds? Yeah, so um, we have been looking for opportunity to add to Treasury uh, bonds, actually. But we felt that the timing is not there yet. I think yesterday's decision uh, further reaffirms that because uh, usually bond yields tend to peak uh, just before the Fed eventually pauses a uh, stock hiking. So maybe we haven't reached that point exactly. So we'll be continue looking for that opportunity to enter uh, U.S. Treasuries. Um, for now, if rates were to stay higher for longer, I think in the short term, I think staying in short duration bonds makes sense. You get a pretty good yield, taking okay. very little duration risk. But Going forward, I think um, if there's more evidence that the economy is, is going to weaken and if the Fed eventually pauses, then I think it will be a good time to enter uh, long duration to lock in those deals and to expect a uh, price increase when bond yields okay. eventually fall. All right. So you, you want to see how things play out a bit. So right now we're kind yeah. of in the build up to the July meeting. So what do you think investors should pay more attention to? The so-called dot plot signaling two more hikes or this comment from Jay Powell. You said it pretty clearly the conditions that we need to see in place to get inflation down are coming into place. So to me, that seemed a bit dovish as well. I think, yeah, I think that left uh, investors a bit confused yesterday, to be honest. Uh, there, there are some contrasting things that, that is in the press release and also in the uh, statement and the dot law. So I think so far, well, I think we should just take the Fed face value because it has been doing what it has been guiding so far in this rate hiking cycle. So I wouldn't try to fight the Fed at this stage. Um, I, I think equally that the Fed is not very clear on what he may do. But I think more committee are likely to stay hawkish because we just don't know how inflation will end. There is, well, I think there is a high probability inflation will keep flowing. But as long as the labor market is tight, inflation could stay high or even reaccelerate. So I think the Fed would just take the cautious stance and keep the rate high options open.